Welcome back to Minecraft. I have seen the progress on the last video and I've gotta say thank you so much. Finally some progress may be made. So for today, with that progress being done, I have planned to build maybe the first ever bubble column obstacle course or just course. I don't know what kind of obstacles I want to put on, but We'll see how that goes, so let's get started. So I decided to start with the structure of this first stage, aka stage 1. It's gonna be a pretty long one, and the entire floor is gonna be covered with lava. Now here I'm working on making these air, well, air bubble columns, and then what's gonna make it a lot easier with these, is that these can actually be copied using the structure block. As you can see right here, I just took, copied and pasted on one of these, and there we go. Makes it get done a lot faster, you know. Please don't judge me. Also, if you like this video, I think you know what to do. Placing down all the lava at the bottom. Of course, it can't be an obstacle course which you can cheat through. Which means that something's gotta punish the players, right? Well... I can guess that the start point or the spawn point is going to be somewhere around here. We'll see about that. And there it is. All done. Obstacle course is looking really random, but it is for the better. I'm just going to show you how it goes. So players would start right here. You would have to solve this tiny hint over here. And then once you start, you will can eventually proceed to this small island over here which gives you a small hint which you have to read from up there which is lack of smoke is kind of sus what you do what you do from here is basically just proceed to the next one and get on and sure you get on the campfire because there are two blocks on top which are invisible once you get here you will see this uh, small island and have to try and get onto it without money in the lava or else dead. And to make it even harder, you don't get boots. Now, all you have to do is just crouch the whole time. And if you have enough health, try to get up from here to this tiny block over here and onto the next air bubble column. And if you can regain health, perfect. If you can't, try to get from this one over to this one okay i'm just gonna say as a creator of this obstacle course i still suck at it okay so please cut me some slack to get off before you die but this is kind of tricky over here you will see there's another path over here which just cuts off into nothing but will make you think that you can actually jump from here to here which you can't so you just have to get down to this block right here Hold out of the way get the rock out of the way once you make it from here to this block of soul sand be careful not to step on the edges because you get burned so if you do that you're fine or not if you get burned but if you get, you have to get all on here and then this part is tricky you have to choose the right part of this small island to go if you choose this one nope choose this one for example you see, choose this one, nope. But, you have to choose the one, of course, close to the lava, right here. Or, wait, yeah. There's actually a uh, barrier right here, which will stop you from doing it, making it a little harder for you to proceed. Once you get here, you'll see a small sign which says, have you seen a gap somewhere? The problem right here is that the, if you find it, Okay, all you've got to do is try to get from this point on to there without burning yourself. If you do, you should be fine if you do, if you have enough health, obviously, Minecraft logic. So then you have to proceed to this part over here and people will think, oh shit, I gotta jump from here to here, but nope, you do not. All you gotta do is walk down here onto this block right here or at least crouch your way down you'll see these two gaps these are just these are basically just safety gaps so you can get burned while you get on that sand block if you choose to do that 
Then you have to get up here, all the way to the top, and then this part is the most deceiving one, because some of these will trick you into going through the wrong way, or going to a block which is too far away, and getting you killed. So what you gotta do, this one's the right way to go, just get up here. So all you gotta do is get up here, and this part is a little tricky. It's not tricky as in hard, but the, it's actually tricky as in it tricks you into thinking that you're all staying on one block, but no. You actually, as you can see, there's quite a bit of trickery around here. So what you gotta do is choose one out of three of these is actually the right one. This one will lead you basically to this one. Since uh, you can choose these two, but if you choose this one, so many choices, so such high heat, where it lives may may lead the way. That's a t that's a hint to where you have to go. If you try to get off of this one, uh oh. The hint was look for the flower pot because that's where you need to go. So basically, where it lives, it's referring to a plant because plants create life and plants require the plant pot to live and may lead the way. It's the right way. Did not need to do that. And once you get up here, you just use the okay. If you, once you get there, you use this thing if you have too low health or wait for it to regenerate. And once it has, you get on here and then you have to you have one last challenge. <laughs> You'll have to try to get in through to the uh, get to the exit. Prime slime transformers reference, aka Optimus Prime slime. Autobots roll out, basically. So once you get down here, good luck getting out, getting through. But if you do get through, hold on, uh, because that's gonna be a real challenge. You're gonna have to make the entire thing again. Uh, so the trick right here is not to try to get to the end like you by using getting as close as possible. The trick is to getting as far from it as possible, not on that side, but on this side, and trying to run and jump. That is how you get out. And then, boom, you're out. Congratulations, you completed my uh, hobby. But hey, thank you for watching this video. If you wanna see more content like this, please let me know by pressing the subscribe button. And thank you so much for finally getting me to 200 after so many years. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna change anything. Hold on. Nope, nothing is different. Yep, it just makes it look uh, pretty. Yep, thank you much for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.